Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Batman. Hey Batman, how you doing? Fine. Good. Anything new to report from the land of Gotham? Nothing going on at all. You just happened to drop by to be in our video. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very kind of you, and if you would like to be very kind to Mr. Wayne and myself, then please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bat bell. That would be very kind of you indeed. And as usual tonight, we are surprising each other with trailers that the other person has not yet seen, and filming our silly reactions to those. So what do we have next? Well, next up, we've got something that I wasn't sure if it was going to be our thing, but then I read starring Matt Damon. Ooh, we like him. Yeah, we do like Matt Damon. As much as I also like to make fun of his name in a Team America World Police kind of a way, mm -hmm. I actually do genuinely like Matt Damon. I thought he was amazing in The Martian. But he stars as a father of an estranged daughter who is accused of murder, and he has to clear her name in France, where he doesn't speak a word of the language. So yeah, I'm really intrigued to see how this whole Matt Damon, estranged daughter, France thing, legal type of dealio plays out. So we are going to check out the trailer for Stillwater. If you want to see what we think about it, then stick around until the end. But for now... Let's go. Let's go! The day you left for Marseille. I drove to the airport. I went to the gift shop and I saw this necklace. It was gold. It said still water on it. I thought it'd be a little piece of home to take with you. Some folks are born made to wear the fly. You're in Marseille for vacation? Yeah, I visit my daughter. Wow. The father of the girl, the, the American student? Yes, ma'am. Allison came here for college, and that's where she met this girl, Lena. One night she found Lena dead and called the police. All they cared about was Allison sleeping with some Arab girl. I loved her. I know you did. But everybody thinks that I killed her. Wow. We have exhausted every possible legal action. Is the lawyer not helping you? I'm doing it myself for now. I could help. What's your name? Maya. Maya. Oh, that's nice. She's very protective with me. You seen that guy before? No one would talk to you, trust me. I'm not from here. It's not safe for you. Man. She's my little girl. Dad. Please. I'm not gonna give up. It will be a serious mistake to commit a crime to prove your daughter innocent. It will not get her out of jail. And it will send you in. Lord, please keep a watchful eye on Allison. Amen. Wow. Police. Did you ask her to lie? I'm trying to get my little girl out of jail. That's all I give a damn about. You sound very American right now. Good. I am. Yeah, and you're also <laughs> a stranger here. What did you do? You just have to trust me. Wow. Wow, so you were very skeptical going into the trailer for Stillwater. Mm. What do you think now that we've seen it? It looks really interesting. I like that they've kind of set up that he is representing the, like he's he's kind of investigating it himself and he's not having he's not having any support from a lawyer or the police from the sounds of it. Mm. But I like that they're set up that he's not following the law um, in kind of making stuff happen, which is kind of interesting and, and it's hard to know. It kind of implied that maybe he messed things up by doing that, and that maybe you know that that might um, have some drawbacks to their situation. That he didn't follow the rules might cause some problems. But um, I, I kind of like that conflict. But it looks really compelling. Yeah, it really does. Actually, a lot better than I was expecting. And, and I think, you know, anyone who's a parent who's watching this, probably even anyone who's just an elder sibling or who cares about another mm. human being, 
but especially parents, I think, are very aware that there's nothing they wouldn't do for their child, especially if that child was wrongly accused of murder. So certainly in this movie, it's clear that she's had a same-sex relationship with the victim of the murder, and it kind of implies that maybe there's some prejudice against gay people that's kind of caused her to be flagged as the killer or something, oh. that uh, they seem to be more more um, focused on the fact that she's gay and that she's in a relationship with a, a, an Arabic, I guess, woman who was murdered than, you know, finding the truth. Aww. So I like that angle as well, that he's kind of not only crusading to get his daughter back, but there also seems to be kind of a social uh, undertone to this as well, which is kind of nice. But I think you can also see through the trailer this thread that to save his own daughter... He's working with this French lawyer who's helping him build the case and, and do things the right way. And she's putting her own daughter's life in risk by doing that. It kind of looks like that. That's what I'm wondering if that's going to be the rub. If he's, you know, got to make some really, really difficult Sophie's choice between mm. this stranger who's helping him and his own daughter's life, which, man. But, it, I mean, it definitely feels very, very high stakes. Like, I was kind of imagining, um, you know, daughter gets locked up in France. I'm thinking, well, it's France. Like, it's probably going to be some nice green place that she's locked up in. Mm. They probably get to do running around some beautiful yard or something. But it looked pretty horrifying where yeah. she was locked up. So it made the stakes even higher. And I think the other part of this that makes it more compelling and gives it more depth is that these kinds of things have happened. They've There have been... Um, I, th I think mostly it was students or kind of young people traveling in foreign countries and then something's happened and, you know, they have investigated the people they were traveling with and there have been times that people were wrongly accused and there were times that it wasn't investigated as thoroughly as it would have been in another country. And so it, it's kind of, it's eerie from that point of view as well that you know that these this type of scenario has happened to people yeah and I, I think the setting in france is even more interesting because of that because you know you hear about this happening in places like thailand all the time like some kid goes over there backpacking someone drops a bag of cocaine or something in their backpack mm. and then they're coming back through the airport suddenly they're locked up and you never see them again and like that sadly does seem to happen really regularly in places in that kind of Southeast Asian area. Yeah, I think it's interesting both that it's set in France, but it also seems to be an Arabic or a Muslim girl who's died, because France, I think right or wrong over the years, has been notoriously stringent in terms of the way that women from Saudi Arabia and Muslim women have been treated in, you know, things like not being able to wear a hijab or a burqa and, you know, things like that, that are make it very, very hard for people from that background to live in France. And because of that, France has also been uh, targeted by terrorists. So, you know, you, you see kind of both sides of that playing out. But I think in this movie, it's really interesting to see the fact that the victim seems to be a young Arabic or Muslim woman um, who's also a lesbian as well, which, you know, I... I, I I think that creates its own interesting social aspect mm. and and that it's set in France where there's this whole kind of broiling mess of uh, anti-Muslim and pro-Muslim sentiments kind of colliding there. So it, uh, yeah, I think it, it could end up saying a lot about the world. But I also just really like how... Um, claustrophobic the story is between a dad who's estranged from his daughter who's now trying to get back involved to help her out mm. trying to decide you know whether to do the right thing and it seems like inevitably deciding following the law is not going to cut it and he'll do anything it takes to get his daughter back so yeah i, I kind of love both of those angles the bigger picture and then that kind of microcosm that this is focused on so yeah i'm i'm all in for stillwater on july 30th mm, not long not long at all. Well, I guess we will need to wait until July to see Stillwater. But of course you won't need to wait until July to see us again because you know how often we do this? Regularly. No. No. Yeah, it is Irregularly. quite... Irregularly. No, it's regularly. We do it every day. Damn it. And therefore we will see you tomorrow, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, nerds. Bye. <laughs>
and sit down.